So let's go into a bit more detail about what auto blogging actually is. Well, auto blogging is about creating a network of self populating websites. They are websites which automatically add content, generate traffic, rank well, and earn for you. The whole auto bit stands for automatic. It's all about setting everything up on autopilot so it's automatically working for you. So you can see instantly it's a very powerful stream of income. If you can set one of these sites up in you know between five and fifteen minutes, you know, and get it running, then obviously you can create a vast number of these sites very, very quickly. And of course, you know, they can make you a good amount of money. If you pick the right keywords and they rank really well, then you can do very, very well with autoblog. So the aim of the game they are all completely self populating, running on autopilot with no manual intervention by yourself. The idea is is that you're not turning up every week to add new content or change the advertising banners or anything like that at all. The whole point of auto blogging is that you are setting them up so that you never have to come back and touch them again. You you're not fussed about upgrading plugins unless there's a major problem with them. Um, you're not fussed about upgrading WordPress or anything like that. You just want them to stay there and run and earn money for you. So what you do is using uh, the plugins and the tools that we'll talk about throughout this video course, you can set them up so that they automatically add content at intervals specified specify by yourself. So you can set it to add uh, just a couple of pieces a day or 10 pieces a day or whatever it might be. But you do need to be aware that you've got to think, uh, think naturally when you do this. You've got to think about how would a normal website add new content in uh, the real world if you like. If it was a real blog and not an auto blog, how regularly and how often would content be added? So you do need to consider that. Um, so what I recommend is that you add no more than you know a few pieces of content a day, two, three, four, maybe five at a push. If you can, you want to do it at random time. So you know you may say, well, I'll do it every you know five and a half hours. I'll add a piece of content every seven and a half hours, uh, every ten hours. Um, you may say, well, I will add new content, you know, three times a day, whatever it might be. Depends on the plugin you're using as to how you could, you can specify the intervals. And then all you need to do is do some simple um, traffic generation with them. It shouldn't take too long to do, simply because they're very, very highly targeted websites, so they'll rank fairly well naturally by themselves. So a bit of social bookmarking, a couple of articles, um, et cetera, et cetera, and you should be ranking very, very well. So basically, auto blogging is a quick way of creating a huge network of sites. So if you think about it, and I can, you know, so say it takes me ten minutes to create a an auto blog. Um, that means I can create six an hour, doesn't it? So you know, if I work eight hours a day, eight sixes, what's that? Um, eight sixteen twenty four thirty two forty forty eight. I can create forty eight sites a day. So in a week, times up by five, you're talking two hundred and forty sites in a week. So you know you can create an awful lot of sites with these so even if each one create you know just earns you know even 50 cents a day for you on average you're still talking in a week you've created a, a weekly in, uh, a daily income of uh, $120 a day so yeah there's a lot of potential with these sites and of course you know once you set up the auto blogs if you find some that are doing really really well there's nothing to stop you turning it into a proper authority site and expanding upon it or generating more sites within that niche. So the key is to do your keyword research and then make sure you're ranking very, very quickly. If you've got good keywords and you've targeted them properly, then your auto blog will rank surprisingly quickly. So what can you do with these sites? Well, one of the things you can do is you can build the sites to flip. You can set it up as an auto blog, run it for you know a few months, get it ranking, get it earning, and then you can sell it for you know six to ten times the earnings. So you know you can do very very well. You can turn it from an auto blog into a normal blog. Then you know, disable all the auto blogging functions, um, you, you know, and leave it running, and sell it. If you are selling an auto blog, you do have to make sure that what the um, permissions you have on any plugins you're using if you bought any plugins you may not be able to sell those with the website you may have to remove them first or insist that the 
a buyer purchase a li purchase a license now obviously this is a good choice as you can create the sites and keep them and you can earn from them regularly so you know if you've built your network of a thousand sites you can earn from them you know for as long as you want to as long as they're ranking and doing well or another alternative is um, if you remember how do you cook spaghetti you you cook it and then you throw it against the wall and see if it sticks and that's one of the analogies we can use here you basically create hundreds and hundreds of sites throw it against the wall see which sticks you find the ones that are profitable and doing well and expand into those niches you may create um, other sites within those niches other uh, authority sites you may create um, products within those niches and whatever but it's a good way for you to test out a number of niches very quickly and determine which are going to be profitable so it doesn't matter whether you're a novice or advanced marketer or anywhere in between it doesn't matter if you're you know just setting out on your adventure into internet marketing you can still use auto blogs auto blogs don't require any particular skill it just requires patience and the ability to do some keyword research and set the sites up so it's not too difficult to use now WordPress is our platform of choice and it's completely free I would not recommend doing a manual install because it takes far too much time I would make sure that your web host has either simple scripts or fantastico and that you install it from there simply because it's a lot lot quicker now if you're doing it manually it would take you it could take you quite a while do it through fantastico it will take you you know 60 seconds if you type slowly so it's not going to take you a lot of time to do so you know WordPress is the platform of choice because there's so many options available with it now we are going to talk about some plugins in this course that are going to cost you some money but ultimately then end of the day and trust me I've done some research here they are absolutely the best plugins for auto blogs and they will make sure that you make decent money from them you know you you can use some of the free plugins but they do not give you the uh, flexibility and the functionality that the paid plugins do the paid plugins will really really help you to create fantastically profitable sites very easily so auto blogs are an easy way to create a network of profitable sites you can create you know 50 100 sites a week maybe more so you can see very very quickly you can build up a massive amount of auto blogs um, and you know these can earn well for you you could build up a network of auto blogs in the particular sites and you can use them to promote you know your real money sites you, you could do that you could use them as a a way to get incoming links through to your sites um, a way to really boost your uh, network you know other websites so it's a fantastic uh, level of opportunity here with auto blogs are really really powerful tools for you to use and ultimately you're only limited in what you can do with them with your imagination and the amount of time you're willing to spend messing around with them so you now know what auto blogs are you know roughly what the, you, they're gonna do we're gonna you, you know what you could do with the auto blogs and now we want to go into a bit more detail about the auto blogs themselves and what to look out for with them and how to start setting them up